Hello and welcome to learn image processing using MATLAB. In this lecture we talk about the high pass filters. Now the high pass filters preserve the high frequency components which are the fine details, edges, lines etc and highlight the transition of intensity whereas they suppress the low frequency components. So if you look at an image like this you can see there is a transition of intensity here. Here we have a line and then again a transition from here and here. So suppose I draw an imaginary line across this which is passing through this high intensity point and I record the intensities. We can see that this is the image strip which I have and these are the intensity values. So suppose this is a 3 bit image. I have 8 intensity levels available with me and I record these intensities. So this is lighter. So we have 5 here. So there is one point here. This is A, B line and I record the intensities. So you can see this point here, it's an isolated point which has very high intensity value of 6. Then again we have this line here which we are getting. So it gives me a thin line here with intensity values 1, 3, 1 between this line. Again we move on further on. So this is like all blacks and suddenly there is a rise to 7 intensity which is white and it remains white. So once I have recorded these intensity values now we will see how we calculate the first derivative. So the first derivative is basically a partial derivative with respect to x. So we have a simple formula to find the partial derivative fx plus 1 minus fx. So if I implement this on this diagram, so you can see these are the intensity values. So these are the intensity values which I have recorded. Now you can see for this particular point fx plus 1 minus fx. So this is 0. This would be this minus this minus 1 this minus this is this and so on and if I plot them you can see there is suddenly a big transition for the isolated point here. It goes right from 6 to minus 6. So my first derivative is very sensitive to the different in intensity value and similarly if I this was the line that we had recorded 1 3 1. So this again a sharp transition here. So you can see it is crossing 0 here it is crossing 0 here and then again there is a huge transition as soon as we move from 0 to 7. So my first derivative, so from this we can easily say that my first derivative is sensitive to change in intensity values. To implement this, we can just simply take a kernel like this. So gx would be this kernel, gy would be this kernel and I can then take the magnitude of the difference and find out the magnitude of the vector that we are getting out of filter. Similarly, we have a Sobel operator. So these operators are first order derivatives. So generally in the first order derivatives what we do is we find out the gx which is the difference to, uh, in the x direction and we find out gy which is the difference in the y direction. So we find out both the derivatives and add them together to find out the final result. So for this I will use a circuit image which is shipped with MATLAB. I read it and I want to find out the edges. So I will say e1 is equal to edge a comma privet. I will say e2 is edge from canny operator, e3 from Sobel. With all of these we can also give an optional threshold value. If you do not give it then it is decided automatically and the Roberts one. Now I can see my image. So I subplot all of these in the figure. So you can easily see that this is what I am getting from the privet. This is from Canny, this is from Sobel and this is from Roberts. So this is how we can uh, find out the edges using the first order derivatives. If I want to implement the privet without the inbuilt function then we knew that these were my kernels. So I will implement the privet using these kernels. So let us see how we can do it. I will first create a matrix with the kernel values. I will first read the IC. IC is I am read. Now I apply the kernel to this particular image. I can see the intermediate values for the figures. Like before we will divide it by 255 to convert it into an unsigned integer. I will create another kernel which was basically you can see here it is the transpose of this. So I just take this. I apply this filter to my image IC. We can see the derivative in the y direction using this. Now my p edge is we had seen it was the square root like we had it here. It is the square root of 
both these values so I have to take the square root of ICX and element wise squaring plus element wise squaring for y direction now let's try to run this this is what the final one which I'm getting so you can see here so you can see here the first derivative gives me values across the x direction this gives me values across the y direction and when I combine them together this is the kind of edges that I'm getting I could also say if he is I am black and white because I just want a black and white image in the edges that is a binary image right and I give a value of threshold as 0.3 let's see how this looks like so this is very similar to what I get here so using the same concept you can apply the canny Sobel and Roberts masks too and see for yourself. So this brings us to the end of this lecture. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.